These scriptures like a road map, picture perfect Kodak Alabama folding chair upside your head, whole lap Remember Moses and them two Egyptian soldiers, don't, don't let, let me go, go back. back Hats off, nations of kings and priests, no cap, no cap, no cap, no cap, no cap You sure about that? Shalom, shalom, we nations of kings and priests, right? And we come out here week in and week out to prophesy the downfall of America, right? So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go into some prophecies about so-called Thanksgiving, which we call Thanksgiving. That's right. Because there was a mass murder of our people, the so-called Native Indians, right? 77 million Native Americans got murdered, and our people celebrate that as it's a joyful holiday, right? So we're gonna bring out some sources, and then we're gonna go into the Bible and tie it all together. So Larry, go ahead and read that with you. Um, he's up there. Um, in the year 1789, what's the first um, intent to establish the Thanksgiving um, holiday? It says here, President George Washington was the first to issue a proclamation for the holiday in 1789, designating Thursday, November 26, for the people of the United States as a day of public thanksgiving. This marked the first national celebration of the holiday under the new Constitution. Right, so our people were just still in slavery at this time. So I don't even know why we celebrate a holiday they have nothing to do with so-called black, Hispanic, and Native Indian people. That's right. Right? They have nothing to do with us. These are slavery at this point and at this time. Right? So go ahead and read your uh, your article real quick. Name the article and then uh, we're just going to read a little bit on the article. Because our people, they love to celebrate holidays and ain't got nothing to do with us. And I'm going to show you how our people fail and how we celebrate holidays such as Thanksgiving, that don't have nothing to do with black, Hispanic people. Why are we celebrating a holiday that ain't got nothing to do with our people? When you celebrate Thanksgiving, you're celebrating the mass murder of 77 million Native Indians. That's what you're doing, right? Ain't that what the turkey represents? Teach, y'all. That's what the cranberry sauce represents, the blood, right? Why do you think they do this stuff by design? All right, go ahead and read that article, bro. All right, this is an article on the website Business because, because Insider. These behind us talking loud. Go ahead. All right, this is an article on the website called Business Insider, and it's called The True Story Behind Thanksgiving is a Bloody One, and some people say it's time to cancel the holiday. All right, it's a bloody holiday, man. Our people need to cancel. Let these so called white men let him keep this holiday. That's right. Because this is his celebration of what he mass murder to the native Indian people, right? So go ahead. All right, going a few paragraphs down. Our modern definition of Thanksgiving revolves around eating turkey. Eating turkey, go ahead. But this was more of an occasion for religious observance in past centuries. Uh -huh. The pilgrims would most likely consider their sober 1623 day of prayer for the first actual Thanksgiving according to the history of Massachusetts blog. Others pinpoint 1637 as the true origin of Thanksgiving since the Massachusetts Bay Colony's governor, John Winthrop, declared a day to celebrate colonial soldiers who had just slaughtered hundreds of Pequot men, women, and children in what is now Mystic, Connecticut. I don't believe in God. Yeah, we believe in God. Why you think we up here? We got the Bible. We didn't believe in oh, God. Because right? he got the horns on. No, this is not God for what? This right here is not God. That's why we out here. We tell our people, y'all, y'all worshiping a false Jesus, a false God. God don't look nothing like that. According to what is read what's read in the Bible. Do you know what God, what Jesus looked like according to the Bible? Right. So if you already knew that, why would you say he got home? This was misconception of what Jesus looked like. We, yeah, we need to come out of lies and come back to the truth. That's why we up here teaching about Thanksgiving. 
We're telling our people, don't celebrate Thanksgiving because when you celebrate Thanksgiving, you're celebrating the murder of 77 million Native American Indians. That's, That's right. what you're doing. I gotta go and we're That's reading it in, in, in the history, and we're going to read it in the Bible. We're going we're gonna to connect the Bible with history. We're going to show you that when you celebrate Thanksgiving, you celebrate the mass murder of your own people. That's what you're doing. That's right. That's what you're doing. And the so-called white man, he sit up and laugh and say, look at that, we got them celebrating something that we did. We mur mass murdered these people, and we got them celebrating Thanksgiving. Teach y'all. They care for their own people. That's what so-called black and Hispanics are. And we knew that, right? And we're going to show you at this time the so-called Hispanic man was in slavery at that time. So go ahead and read that book out of Columbus to Castro. The book from Columbus to Castro. Uh -huh. On his third voyage uh -huh. in 1498. What? In 1498. Man, we was in slavery at this time. All right, go ahead. He shipped 600 Indians back to Spain. This is Christopher Columbus. He shipped 600 Puerto Ricans from the land of Puerto Rico to Spain, right? Go ahead. The slave trade in the Caribbean thus began as outward and not inward cargo. Right. Taking the form of Indians transported from the West Indies uh -huh. to Spain rather than of the Negroes transported from West Africa to Caribbean. Right, so we show you in the we show you that the so-called uh, West Indies and the Puerto Ricans, man, they were slaves, man. They went to uh, uh, Spain on slave ships. That's right, right? Go ahead. In the meantime, however, the Pope had enjoined on the Spanish. Who did it? The Pope had enjoined on the Spanish. The so-called Pope. Because our people, so-called Puerto Ricans, right, and so-called uh, uh, Spanish, they loved worshiping the Pope. And the Pope had a hand in y'all slavery. Teach y'all. Right, Pope Ale Alexander V, man, he had a hand in y'all slavery. And y'all celebrate being, uh, uh, um, what that, Catholic. Y'all Catholic, y'all following the, the, his religion, the guy that enslaved y'all, right? Go ahead. Spanish sovereign, uh -huh. the duty of treating the Indians kindly and converting them to Catholicism. Right, they wasn't treating the Indians kindly. They converted them into Catholicism, to the Catholic doctrine. That's what they're saying, right? Go ahead. The Savoy thereupon issued a royal decree, uh -huh. whereby those Indians, those Indians, go ahead, who accepted Spanish sovereignty, right, they accepted that language Spanish, right, go ahead, and submitted to it without resistance, right, were considered subject of the crown, was considered subject of the crown, that means they were going to follow those customs, right, go ahead, and as such could not be reduced to slavery, what, and such could not be reduced to slavery, okay, the decree left the road open uh -huh. to enslavement of those who resisted. Uh -huh. The legal basis for slavery became the infamous requisition read out by the notary to natives who did not understand Spanish. Right. Oh, yeah. The others were to be treated as free men and employed for wages. Right, and they were employed for wages, man. That's what these so-called white people did to y'all, man. Teach y'all. After y'all, after the so-called white man, he did all his voyages over here to the Americas. He seen people already here. But you know what happened? The Indians accepted it in. They accepted these so-called Caucasian people. They said, come on in, this is our land. Mike Pastor is true pastor. That's what they said. Teach y'all. They brought them in. But these people, when they got over there, man, they didn't take no bath. They didn't have no food. They didn't do none of that. The Indians taught them how to, how to keep the customs of God. Teach us. the customs of God was cleansing them. We was clean people, man. That's right. So we showed these so-called uh, Caucasians how to take baths, how to wash themselves up, right? We taught them how to uh, 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 grow food and crops. That's right. right. We taught them all these things, man. And you know what these so-called, the white man did to us? Like go to uh, Psalm 55 real quick. And 21. Go ahead. 
or the songs 55 and 21. Once we taught them everything and we showed them how to grow crop, take care of their kids, take showers and baths, stay clean, eat clean food. Let's see what they did to our people. Read that. The book of Psalms, chapter 55 and verse 21. Uh -huh. The words of his mouth. This is the so-called white man. Once we taught him everything, he said, this place is beautiful, man. We need to take this land from them, man. We need to take this land from these people, man. This can be ours. They all got together, right? They all consulted together, like Psalms 83 say. They all got together with one consent, right? Teach us. Right? Read that. The words of his mouth were smoother than butter. The white man, his mouth was smoother than butter. You know why? Because he was talking silky amongst them, man. Teach us. He was telling them, yeah, thank you for everything. Thank you for washing us, teaching us this. Thank you for teaching us that. All right, go ahead. But war was in his heart. What? But war was in his heart. And when they went back, they was talking about, we got to slaughter these people. That's what they was thinking, man. Teach us. They wanted to take over that land. They wanted to steal the land, and that's what happened. They stole the land and murdered 77 million Native, Native Americans with what? Smallpox. Teach on. They put uh, diseases in the blankets, man. They killed all the natives. And they took the land. The land that you live in today, that y'all celebrate Thanksgiving in, and got stolen by the so called Caucasian, man. Teach on. And we celebrate that day like it's happy. It's just getting together with the family, letting the kids get, get. We don't want to hear that, man. We tired of all the semantics with our people. They always got a damn excuse. Teach they always got an excuse for wickedness, man. When y'all gonna stand up for righteousness? That's right. Our people always making up excuses to be wicked and evil, man. And the Lord told us to stay away from all these cups. Right? Go to Colossians chapter 2, verse 8. Right? Go to Matthew. Give me Matthew, uh, give me Matthew chapter 15 of the ESV. Real quick. Verse 3. Matthew 15 of the ESV. Yeah. Read that real quick. Colossians chapter 2, verse 15 of the ESV? Yeah. And you give me, uh, give me 2 Kings 17 and 8. This is the book of Colossians chapter 2 and verse 8. Right, let's see what the Lord say. Beware. Lest any man spoil you. Lest any man spoil you, man. Don't let these people spoil you. Go ahead. Through philosophy. With their traditions. Go ahead. And vain deceit. Because their traditions are vain deceit. It's deceiving you, man. That's right. That's what it is. They deceiving you to say, oh, we just getting the family together. Eating a little turkey. We just getting everybody together. The kids letting them play. That's vain deceit, man. Teach y'all. Y'all need to stand up for righteousness, man, and quit standing up for making all these damn excuses for wickedness and evil, right? Go ahead. After the tradition of men. What is Thanksgiving? After the tradition of, of men. men. Thanksgiving is a tradition of man. Because you can't see nowhere where Christ kept Thanksgiving. Nowhere in the him and the disciples say, let's sit down and eat a turkey. They kept the feast of Passover, the feast of dedication, right? They kept tabernacles. Nowhere in the Bible that these so-called Christians out here, that people call themselves Christians, celebrating the custom ain't got nothing to do with your Christ. That's right. Why are you celebrating Thanksgiving? That ain't got nothing to do with Christ. When did Christ celebrate Thanksgiving? Never. Never. You can't find it nowhere in the Bible where Christ said, get a turkey, get some damn cranberry sauce, and them toast stop stuffing or whatever y'all so-called Edomites call it. We call it dressing, whatever. It's all the same. Teach all that stuff is made up for a reason. The recipe is a for a reason. Why you why you can't get a, a fried chicken? Teach y'all. Teach y'all. Why you just can't make up your own meal? You gotta do what the so-called white man tell you to prepare for his day. Teach get you a turkey, go get you a ham, get you some collard greens. Get some don't stop stuffing. Y'all do it, man. How people do it? If they did, first one at the damn grocery store looking for a damn turkey. Teach on. Right? Go ahead, bro. Let me read my heart. Now go to verse 22. Jump to verse 22. Come on. Verse 22. Uh-huh. Which all are to perish with the using 
after the commandments and doctrines of men. Right, you're going to perish, man. You keep celebrating, he's come from the doctrine of men. The Lord said he's going to destroy you. That's right. right. Our people that want to celebrate Thanksgiving, you're going to be destroyed. All right, go ahead. Verse 23. Which things have indeed a show of wisdom and will worship and humility and neglecting of the body. Right, you neglecting what God got in store for you. The feast days he got lined up. You neglect that to keep the custom of the traditions of the so-called white man. Right, go ahead. Not in any honor to the satisfying of the flesh. Right, that's satisfying the flesh. When you celebrate Christmas and Thanksgiving, you celebrate, you satisfying your flesh. Because nine times out of 10, you men, y'all do that just to keep the women happy. Teach y'all. Y'all just get along with the go along with the get along. Happy wife, happy life. That's what the men say. Get down with a happy wife, happy life. Teach y'all. Happy husband, happy damn life. That's right. Y'all got the whole thing hungry? twisted. Huh? Are you guys hungry? Are we hungry? Yeah, we're giving away free barbecue. We're getting a chop off. Pulled pork chop chicken. Hold on, no, I just go to the video. I'm going to show you something real quick. No, no, we're, we're, well, we're kind of in the same, we're, we're like, Kind of on the same team, so at the bus stop, we're just feeding people. Where instead of talking about it, we're being the hands and feet of God. Y'all for the church? We're, we're ministry. Yes, what we're ministry are you with from? Uh, a kingdom business. Kingdom business. Love our law. Right. Why? Why if y'all giving away pork to people when the Bible tells you don't don't eat pork? Hey man, I'm just I'm just volunteering. All right, watch this. I'm gonna show you something. This is why this one scripture because you believe in God, right? Why just read this? This is in the book of Leviticus, chapter 11 and verse 7. Let's see what God said. And the swine. What is swine? You said y'all feed people pork, right? God said that pork is swine. And the swine, go ahead. Though he divide the hoof and be cloven-footed, uh -huh. yet he cheweth not the cud. He don't chew the cud because he don't have regurgitated his food. Go ahead. He is unclean to you. What the Lord say? He, he is, is unclean, unclean to, to you. you. What is pork? He, he is, is unclean, unclean to, to you. You know what would be a great thing? Uh, uh, I mean, I think I, I respect what you guys are doing, trying to feed me knowledge, but this should be a great topic of a conversation with the people over there. You right. know? Tell them come over here and talk well, to we're, them. We're like, we got like, like 50, 60 people lined up, so if you guys do have the time, it'll be a great discussion. It'll oh, we'll go over there and talk to we're, them. We're, this is an edifying discussion. That's all. This is not an argument. I appreciate you guys, what you guys are doing. It's, at the end of the day, we're all trying to spread love and, right. in whichever form. I appreciate you guys, right. and I, I really hope that like God blesses you and right. and, and uh, like abundance. That, and you know what? That's why we say the churches they teach false doctrine because they don't follow the Bible. Well, the Bible's telling us right here cleanly, plainly, that the Lord say pork is unclean. The people don't eat. Why is a if, church that a reads the Bible, the Bible, why they do that? In the Bible, can you answer this? In the Bible, it also says that females cannot be leaders of a church. Is that true? That's true. That is true. That's true. So a female should not have a leadership position. She shouldn't have a leadership position in the and church. And if she does, she's help. defying God. She's defying God. Okay. That's what the Lord said. Okay. The so, Bible says in 1 Corinthians chapter 14 and verse 32, it right. says, if a woman want to learn anything, she got to shut her mouth up in the church, but she want to learn, she got to go home and ask her husband. She don't even supposed to be teaching or talking nothing about the Bible in public or take a big position in the church. But we're going to read, read it real quick. This one scripture, because you can probably quote this for her. Go to Timothy 2 and 11. Go to 1 Corinthians 14, verse 32. We quote, quote this to the pastor. 1 Corinthians Before, while, while we're on that topic, so like females, they're not supposed to wear like pants because it's a male garment. They don't supposed to wear pants. Only they're supposed skirt. to wear a dress. Or a yeah. skirt. Yeah, according to the Bible. Like this sister right here. See how she dressed? Yeah. Modern. Women don't supposed to wear pants. You can, the guy said, I can tell I can tell by your appearance the way you look if you're a godly person or not. If a woman come up to me and they tell me they love God and they got on some blue jeans, I know they don't because that's false. Right, read that real quick. This is in the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 14 and verse 34. Let's see what the Lord said. Let your women keep silence in the churches. Let the woman keep silent in the church. Go ahead. For it is not permitted unto them to speak. It is not permitted for them to speak in the church. Go ahead. But they are commanded to be under obedience. A woman got to be in obedience in the church. Go ahead. As also saith the law. Go ahead. 
And if they will learn anything, if a woman want to learn the Bible, what they got to do? Let them ask their husbands at home. They can't even talk about church. They can't even talk about the Bible at church. They got to go home and learn at home. Go ahead. For it is a shame for women to speak in the church. It's a what? It is a, a shame, shame for, for women to speak, to speak in the church. church. That's a shame for a woman to be speaking in church. They don't even supposed to be teaching while they read it. The book of 1 Timothy, chapter 2 and verse 11. Uh -huh. Let the woman learn in silence. Let the woman learn the Bible and shut up. That's what it's saying. Go ahead. With all subjection. Uh -huh. But I suffer not a woman to teach. What the Lord saying? But I suffer, suffer not, not a, a woman, woman to, to teach. teach. The Lord don't want a woman to be teaching in the church. Go ahead. Nor to use her authority. No, to so see that right part again. To serve. You nor, serve. nor to. You serve. Nor to usurp authority over the man. Right. Women can't serve authority over a man. By being the head of the church, by being a deaconess. When they doing that, they telling all the men that sitting in the audience, you ain't nothing. I'm the pastor. They don't supposed to serve no authority over a man. No woman supposed to serve authority over a man. Even when a woman taking a police role and she pull you over, she's serving authority over you. That's okay. against God. Okay. I respect that, but like, right. so I mean, like, you guys are probably more equipped with whatever, whatever knowledge you guys have. They, this would be a great, like, learning thing. But I do, uh, my last question is, so do you guys believe in religion or relationship? We don't believe in religion. We believe in God's commandments. You got to keep God's commandments. Nowhere in the Bible God said be a Muslim, a Jehovah Witness, a Baptist. That's, that's all man made. Man made them religions up. God don't deal with religion. He deal with, hey, you keep my commandments and live. If you don't keep it, you're going to die. Light out. Let me ask you one question while you're over here. Yeah. You see yourself on this sign over here? Yeah. Puerto Rican? Or? I'm Colombian. Okay, so you would be on this sign. You would be an Israelite from the 12 tribe of Israel. You'd be from the tribe of Ash. That's what you would be. You're an Israelite. You need to come back to your nationality. Because you ain't going to find Colombia in the Bible. You're going to see these names in there, these biblical names. Now, ben, do you know what's an Israelite? A um. chosen person by God. That's what it is. The people in Israel saying they the real Jews, they not. You really the real Jew. You the real Israelite, not them. They imposters in that land pretending to be you. But get his brother a flyer, because I know he got to go and he want to do some research. Yeah, right now I'm just trying to feed people. That's all, brother. Right, just give him a flyer. How you doing, brother? You all right? Good, good, good. Right there, brother. We out here teaching about the 12 tribes of Israel. Slave trade. Right. You know, slavery is in the Bible, right? Slavery is in the Bible. 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 I, was raised, I was raised Catholic. Right. What's your nationality? Uh, originally from Angola. Angola? I just don't know. Right. That's how that's our people. Twelve tribes in Israel. It is a slavery. Angola is right there. Right. Right. So you from the west shore of the Africa, right? So, and most likely you'll be an Israelite. You'll be an Israelite. So a lot of us. Right, right, right. So you would be yes, you would be born. That's how you have to be a Right. So you'll be an Israelite according to the Bible. You're, I can't really say what tribe you're from, but nine times out of ten, you would be from the tribe of Jesus. You'd be from the tribe of Jesus. Because our people got scattered from the west shore of the Africa. You know? You would be an Israelite according to the Bible. That's what we out here teaching our people. Teaching our people that they the real Israelites. No, we're religion. Well, we ain't really no religion. We uh, we Israelites. That's a nationality. Watch the Jimmy Jeremiah chapter fourteen. I mean, yeah, fourteen, seventeen. Israelite. Israelite. That's that. Because when you read about the Bible, when you read in the Bible, God created people for His own. He His own people. We call Israelites. Jews. You know, the people in Israel say they Jews, right? They pretending to be Jews. They not the real Jews. They impossible. People like from Angola on the west shore of the Africa, all the way to the Americas, all these lands that we got on here, these were the Israelite people are. The real Jews are. They wouldn't even be in Israel today. They wouldn't be there. But God told us not to go in that land. Stay out of that land. Why they over there? I didn't tell him to go to that man. So read that real quick, Jeremiah. Right. Said Jeremiah 17 and what? Four. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 17 and verse 4. And thou, even thyself, shall discontinue from thine heritage. So it was a point in time that we lost our nationality. We lost our heritage through the work. 
lot of people, when we went into slavery, they beat it out of us. They said, y'all not Jews, y'all not living like you African American. You're Puerto Rican. They changed our name, our identity. Right? They knew what they were doing. They changed our identity. Right? Read that again. And thou, even thyself, shall discontinue from thine heritage uh -huh. that I gave thee, uh -huh. and I will cause thee to serve thine enemies uh -huh. in the land which thou knowest not. Right, we will serve our enemies in a land that we don't know, because we was over here. How we get on this side? We slave shit. slave shit. Right, that's prophesied in the Bible that the Israelites were going to slavery by ship. If the so-called people in Israel, did they go on slavery by ship? Or they or they say they was in Germany and uh, uh what's his name? Hitler, Hitler Hitler put them in concentration camps. That is that's not in the Bible. Nowhere in the Bible is showing a man taking the Jews or the Israelites to a concentration camp and, and, and killing 60 Six million of them. That's not in the Bible, but I'm going to show you slave shit. Sorry, the Bible read that. Deuteronomy. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, and verse 68. Uh -huh. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. So we're going to bring us into slavery again. How? With ships. With what? With ships. That's why we got these pictures up here. We went into slavery with ships. Go ahead. By the way whereof I speak unto thee, uh -huh. thou shalt see it no more again. When we get off those slave ships, we would not be in our homeland again. Right, go ahead. And there, when we get off those ships, and there, go ahead. Ye shall be sold unto your enemies. That's what's going on right here. These pictures, we were sold to our enemies with yokes of iron on our neck. Right, go ahead. For bond man, slave man, and for bond woman. Uh -huh. And no man shall buy you. No man was going to redeem us out of this slave, out of this captivity, but Christ. Right, read verse 48. Verse 48. Therefore, Shall thou serve thine enemies? So when we in slavery, we serving our enemies. And this still uh, uh, for today, time, right? Go ahead. Which the Lord shall send against thee uh -huh. in hunger. When we need food, we had to get it from our enemies. Because we don't own Costco, DJs, Sam's Club, Walmart. My people don't own none of that stuff. We don't own the import or the export. That's right. When the food coming in from wherever they come in from China, Mexico, we don't have nothing to do with that, right? Go ahead. And in thirst? Water. You just don't, don't control the water. Even if you want to go fishing, you got to get a license to go fishing from the so-called white man. He controlled all the water. Go ahead. And in nakedness. And nakedness. When we need clothes, shelter, you got to go to the so-called enemy, thy enemy. Go ahead. And in want of all things. The Lord say anything that we want, you got to go to our enemy to get anything. A driver's license, birth certificate, even if you're married. Yeah, you marry somebody, you got to get a death certificate to put them in the ground. Dumb. You got to get permission from the white man to bury your own yeah. Right? Anything you want that you can think of, a mortgage, a car loan, a bank loan, anything you need, anything, you got to go to them for it. Go ahead, watch it. Just a key point. And he shall put a yoke of iron. This picture right here. He said he's going to put a yoke of iron. Where is it going to be at? Upon thy neck. Where? Upon thy neck. It's going to be around your neck. Right, go ahead. Until he have destroyed thee. He gonna take it off because now people destroy. They don't know who they the real Jews. That's why they can take the shackles off and let you run around. And now you don't know nothing. They brainwash. They tell you keep all these holidays like Thanksgiving, Christmas, all these customs, all these pagan holidays. So we so what would you guys do your study? Like, if I wanted to get more into it, what would you? How, how do you do? Um, give him a flyer real quick. We got a flyer, we got a YouTube channel. You can go to our YouTube channel, we do classes. And as well, we do classes here in Orlando. We got to do classes in Tampa. Um, you know the library at over here, right? We do a lot of classes up here at the library too. We invite a lot of people to come to the library and learn. Yeah, we do a lot, we do in-depth study. A lot of in-depth study. It'll take you to our you straight to our YouTube channel. You can watch all our classes, all the stuff that we teach, all the stuff that we produce. We probably touched on bases on just um, about everything. As far as slavery, me, my birth, personally, me, my blood. Right. My ancestors were slaves. My um, born and raised in a home. Right. My parents were born in a paradise. Right. According, to the, the According to the Bible, yeah. the only people went into slavery here is the Israelites. Right. Right.
Okay, good eyes. It's like off the, off the coast. Actually, all the storms. It's like the west, the northeast of where it goes. And all the storms, like the flake rays, the portion of the east wing, all the storm seas, and all the ships. All the storms that we have, they all get to come right uh, south of the Great Island. Cavern uh, Island has a lot of history. Once you learn all this stuff, I'll show you that the Bible says, teach your wife, your family, your kids, all this stuff. Read that real quick. The book of Romans, chapter 8, and verse 16. The book of Romans chapter 8 and verse 16. Uh -huh. The spirit itself uh -huh. bears witness with our spirit. Right. Your spirit is bearing witness with our spirit because we know that the Israelites were enslaved. Right? Oh, yeah. That we are the children of God. That we are the what? The children of God. Because the slaves are the real children of God. They took us in slavery because what we did is go down to that's one of the reasons why they took us in slavery. Oh, yeah. It's funny because I heard you say about the Bible. I, I learned that this conversation with my parents. Again, we were raised Catholic. And I questioned them. We even got this down. You know, at the end of the day, any religion is good as long as you believe in God. Not really. Yeah. I mean, the, the theory behind it is pretty much basic. Right. Love the children. Be a good person. Right. Yeah. Go ahead, I guess any church would preach that first of all. Right. But the church is just teaching all false. But I did question them. Yeah, they teaching all false doctrine. Who wrote this Bible? Y'all go by. Right. right. Because the, I'm going to show you How that the Bible, Bible was written for the Israelites and the Israelites only. The Bible wasn't written for no other, no other grace, no other people. Only these people, the Bible. But this is their history book, all their records. They're just like if I got a book and I'm got all my family. I'm writing all the history about my family. Somehow the Caucasian man, he get my records. And now he said, hey, it's for everybody. It's everybody. But this is the records of my family. So why is he taking our book saying it's for everybody? Teach us. But it's our book. This is our records. And I'm going to show you in the Bible that these are our records. And it ain't, and it ain't for nobody else. Read that reason. Psalms, right? Psalms 147, verse 19 and The Bible was only written for the Israelites. It wasn't written for like Caucasians, Chinese people. It wasn't written for all of these different religions. Go ahead. The book of Psalms, chapter 147 and verse 19. Read that. He showed his word unto Jacob. His word is the Bible. He showed his word to Jacob. That's the father of the Israelites. Go ahead. His statutes and his judgments unto Israel. The Bible for? His statutes and his judgments unto Israel. Uh-huh. Go ahead. He have not dealt so with any nation. God say he what? He have not dealt so with any nation. God say he ain't dealing with nobody other nations outside of Israel. Go ahead. And as for his judgments, uh -huh. they have not known them. For the Bible to other nations don't even know it. Well, he didn't even write the Bible for them. This is the record of a certain family. Like everybody in this book, you see that's a name in here, like Isaiah, Jeremiah, Malachi, Moses, right? Christ. All these people are Israelites. All of them are Israelites. And they writing about, about their own family. Nowhere in here is talking about 
oh, this is to help the other nations. This is only for our people. They took this book in slavery and they took it against us. They used it against us like you were scripture, like slave, obey your master. They took the Bible and twisted it and this book wasn't even written to them. It's like when Joe Osteen up there teaching the Bible. You don't even supposed to be teaching the Bible. Yeah, well, I honestly believe that they had it because they had to be deceiver. The right yeah, the deceiver would not. But not for the right purposes. They doing it for the wrong reason. Right, 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 keep right. you from knowing right. you're a real Israelite. That's why they teach the Bible. That's why they let you get up there and say, God loves all people, all races, all nationalities. It don't matter. They keep you from knowing that you're the real Israelite. That's why they do it. So you don't start digging, start searching, start reading. And once you start stumbling on scripture, you're going to be like, hold on. This Bible condemned the other people. I want you to give me uh, Isaiah chapter 40, verse 17. This Bible actually condemns all people that's not Israelite. Watch this. The book of Isaiah. Isaiah the book of Isaiah, Israelite. chapter 40 and verse 17. Mm -hmm. All nations. God said all the nations outside of Israel. Go ahead. Before him are as nothing. They what? Are as nothing. They say these other nations ain't nothing to him. Go ahead. All they are counted to him less than nothing. They counted to God less than nothing. He don't care about them. And vanity. Uh -huh. To whom then will ye liken God? Or what likeness will ye compare it to him? Go ahead and read that. Right. God don't even care about the other nations. Read that. Watch this. This is in the book of 2 Ezra, chapter 6 and verse 54. And after these, Adam also whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures, uh -huh. of him come we all. Everybody come from Adam, right? You agree? Adam and Eve, right? Go ahead. And the people also. And the people also come from Adam. You're talking about the children of Israel, right? Whom thou hast chosen. Who God had chosen. They come from Adam too, go ahead. All this have I spoken before thee, uh -huh. O Lord, uh -huh. because thou madest the world for our sakes. God actually made the world for the Israelites, right? Go ahead. As for the other people. Of the other people that not Israelites, that's outside of Israel. Go ahead, what's the word God? Which also come of Adam. They come from Adam too. Thou hast said that they are nothing. What the Bible say? Thou hast said that they, they are nothing. I say they are nothing. Go ahead. But be like unto spittle. He says they like spittle. Go ahead. And has likened the abundance of them unto a drop that falleth from a vessel. God say the other nations outside of the Israelites, they, they don't mean nothing. Not that he created, he created all creatures. At the end of the day, all nations will be in the kingdom of heaven. We're not saying all nations will be in the kingdom of heaven. But we're saying in the kingdom of heaven, Israelites under Christ and the apostles, we will have rulership on the earth. We will be ruling the other nations, giving the order to tell them that what we do. The, the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 6, chapter 7, and verse 6. For thou art in holy people. And I say to Israelites, we are holy people. Go ahead. Unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee. Chose us, the Israelites. Go ahead. To be a special people. To be a what? A special people. Uh -huh. Unto himself. Uh -huh. Above all people. So God chose us to be unto himself. Go ahead. We are above all people that are what? That are pun that are upon the face of the earth. And we're above all people above all the face of the earth. What you guys chose to be that in This is the book of Revelation, chapter 5 and verse 10. And had made us unto our God. And had made us unto his God. Kings and priests. What are we? Kings and priests. And what are we going to do? And we shall reign on the earth. We're going to rule the earth. That's what we brought on here. The ones that want to come back. All right, brother. What's your name? It's brother Ruth. We out here every Saturday. Every Saturday we out here about two o'clock to about like around this time. So we out here. If you got any questions or you got anything, you can call that number on that flyer and watch some of my class. All right, brother. All right, yes sir. Yes sir. So every time I do my class. It interrupted, but that's all in the design of the Lord. It's all in the design of the Lord. But first, before we condemn uh, Thanksgiving, we got to wake our people up 
bring them back to the covenant of the Lord. That's right. So first and foremost, that's what we got to do. So we know our people celebrate all these wicked customs and stuff. So we're going to get back into that a little bit. Of Matthew chapter 15 verse 3 he answered them and why do you break the commandment of God for the sake of your tradition right why you break God's commandment for the sake of your tradition right because if God our these days then our commandments our people for the keep. why we break God these days to do the tradition of men like Thanksgiving right why we keep traditions of men now, go ahead Bahar, read that Read it in the good news. Oh. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 15, and verse 3 in the Good News Translation. Jesus answered, And why do you disobey God's command and follow your own teaching? Right. Follow your own teaching, your own tradition. Go ahead. Keep going. Keep going? Yeah. For God said, Respect your father and your mother. And if you curse your father or your mother, you are to be put to death. Right, you're going to get put to death. So read that in 2 Kings 17. The book of 2 Kings chapter 17 and verse 8. And walked in the statutes. And walked in the statutes of the heathen. We do what? And walked in the statutes of the heathen. And that's what our people do. We walk in the customs of the so far heathen. Read that in the good news too. Was that one? Second Kings. Second Kings 17. Go ahead, read it again. And walk in the statutes of the heathen, uh -huh. whom the Lord cast out from before the children of Israel. Right, so while we follow on some people that the Lord cast out, teach us. He cast these so called uh, uh, Caucasian and these other nations out, but we follow their way, their custom, their religion. Teach us. While we follow in their ways when the Lord cast them out. Go ahead. And of the kings of Israel, which they had made. So our people follow their tradition. All right, go ahead, read that behind. 17 and 8, right? Yeah. This is the book of uh, 2 oh, there, Kings, uh, chapter 17 and, and verse 8 in the Good News Translation. Uh -huh. Followed the customs of the people uh -huh. whom the Lord had driven out as his people advanced. Right. The Lord driven them out, and we following their religion, their customs. Go ahead. And adopted customs introduced by the kings of Israel. Right, and the kings of Israel brought that crap back and introduced it to our people. Right, any more on that? That was the end of that one. All right, go ahead. The book of Ephesians chapter two and verse two. Uh -huh. Where in, where in, where in time past ye walked according to the course of this world, mm -hmm. according to the prince of the power of the air. The spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience. Right, our people disobedient. Somebody give me Isaiah, we're going to end it with this. Isaiah 3 and 1 and 1 and 3. The hot flow is on. 1 and 3. 1 and 1 and 2. 1 and 2. Isaiah 1 and 3. Read that. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 1 and verse 3. Uh -huh. The ox knoweth his owner. The ox is a dumb animal. He knows his owner. Right? Us Israelites, we know that Christ is our king. That's right. You, you so-called other Israelites, y'all like a dumb ox. Dumber than the ox. Because the ox know who he's on here. So and the ass, his master's crib. And the donkey know how to get home. We know how to make it to the kingdom of heaven. That's right. But you other, y'all, y'all don't know how to get the kingdom of heaven. Because y'all keeping customs that ain't got nothing to do with our people. Y'all keeping things killing. Right? Go ahead. But Israel, but Israel, so-called black, Hispanic, and Native Americans, right? Doeth not know. They don't even know they're Israelites. Teach y'all. 
Yeah. People don't know what it is. Like they think they're Puerto Rican, African American, uh, Dominican, Colombian. They don't even know they're the real Israelites. Y'all calling yourself by by words, right? Go ahead. My people do it not consider. They don't even consider they the real Jews. Teach us. They rather stay in the Gentile state of mind and pull out that damn turkey and gonna get destroyed by the Lord at the end of the day. Teach us. Right. But with that, that's our Thanksgiving class, right? And we hope you were edified, nations and kings and priests, right? So like that, like and comment on that subscribe, man, and, and subscribe to the channel, right? And with that, we're gonna say Shalom. 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 His feet unto my grass as if they burned in a furnace. I feel no pain. I'm able to kill pain.